Hispanic Heritage Month wraps up this weekend, and throughout the month, we've been introducing you to people and organizations making an impact on our community. And tonight we meet a woman from Puerto Rico now living out her dream right here in Northeast Ohio by playing a vital role in the space race. Here's News 5's Nadine Abusada. On the campus of NASA's Glenn Research Center, past all the spacecrafts and rockets, you'll find Dion Hernandez. So you have that box there. In a building where she works on power propulsion. Basically, it has two vacuum chambers. Dion's story started in Puerto Rico, where she fell in love with space at a young age. NASA was my dream. Growing up, I would see shuttle launch on TV, and I always wanted to come and work here. But being on a small island, NASA seemed so far. You don't have a NASA center. You don't have this type of representation of having scientists and researchers from NASA. Dion didn't let that stop her. When she got to the University of Puerto Rico, she studied NASA research on her way to a chemistry degree. So that allowed me to apply for the NASA fellowship um, called the Harriet Jenkins Fellowship. From there, well, her career took off. That allows you to move things around, but then you need the solar arrays and the batteries. Now, here she is, nine years later, working on the Artemis mission, which NASA hopes will return humans to the moon. My responsibility is to build the spacecraft that will provide power, high rate communication, attitude control, and orbital transfer. She specifically works on the Gateway. The Gateway is a small space station that will orbit around the moon. It will allow crews to have more access to the lunar surface. Well, every day she's on cloud nine. I can't believe it, right? Because it was a dream. I didn't know how to get here. Um, but thank God that, you know, I was able to have mentors and people that helped me. For Dion, what makes it even better is being able to represent her community alongside so many others. So for me overall, I think diversity in any way is important. We have people from all over all areas. With the hope the next generation will follow in their footsteps. We definitely need, you know, this Artemis generation. We had the Apollo generation, but right now we're in the Artemis generation and we need a higher number of women in science to, you know, help us out through this mission. Reporting in Cleveland, Nadina Busada, News 5. Wow. Very cool. What an amazing story. Yeah, go girl. So important <laughs> to dream big. It is. That's a full day. Yeah. <laughs>